Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 027 underscore BIAB underscore N. Click the file tab and hover the mouse cursor to save as select project. This brings the save project as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 028 underscore DIAB underscore N. Click the save button. In today's tutorial, we're going to design a foundation for this building. Go to the project browser and double click the ground floor plan view. Go to the property palette. Under the underlay section, click the down arrow and change to select none. Zoom in into this area. Use a window selection to select every wall in the project and click the filter button. Click the check none button and check the wall. Click apply, click OK. Go to the go to the clipboard panel and click the copy command. Go to the project browser and double click the front elevation. Click the modify button. Select the top of footing level and hit delete on your keyboard. Click OK. Go to the Modify panel, click the down arrow under the paste and select Align to selected level. Select the top of the slab and click OK. Revist paste the, the copy object to the top level slab. Now click the, click the Modify button to deselect. Double click the top of the slab level to open this level. Go to the Project Browser, click the scroll bar and move down. Click the Edit View Range. Change this value to 300 and change this value to 150. Click apply. Change this value to 0 and this value to 0. Click apply. Click OK. Now use a crossing window to select all the objects in this view. Click the filter button. Select check none. Select doors. Click apply. Click OK. Hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Go to the view cube and click one of this vertical edge of the view cube. Now click in approximately between the two projects and move your mouse cursor to the left. Click the filter button. Uncheck the wall. Apply. Click OK. Hit delete on your keyboard. Hold down your shift key and your middle mouse button to orbit around and make sure that all the windows and door has been deleted. Now double click the top of the foundation view to open this view. Select this wall, click the filter button, uncheck the reference plane, click OK. Hold down the control key to select this wall, this wall, this wall, this, this, this wall, this, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall and this wall. Change the top offset to 0 and the base offset to 0. Change the top constraint to ground floor and move the mouse cursor away from the property palette. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Click the X button to close this view. Now click into this area. Use a window selection to select just this wall. Click the filter button and make sure that only the wall is selected. Click OK. Change the top offset to 0 and move the mouse cursor away from the property palette. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Click the X button to close. Go to the front elevation. Select the top of the slab and change this value to minus 1 meter. Press enter. Click outside. Select this and change this value to minus 1 meter minus 1,200 millimeter. Press enter. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Now select the roof. Go to the view control bar and click the temporal hide isolate button. Click hide category to hide all the roof. Now select this wall. Hold down the control key. Click this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Hold down the shift key and the middle mouse button to audit. Hold down the mouse key and pan the model down 
hold down the control key click this wall this wall this 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 go to the clipboard panel and select the copy command go to the front elevation click the down arrow select align to selected level select the top of slab and click ok change the base constraint to top of slab and the top constraint to ground floor the base offset to zero and the top offset to zero click the apply button now I go to the default 3d view to see the results go to the Google access toolbar and click the save command click the zoom to fit command go to the quick access toolbar and click the save command all right we have copied the wall to grid a foundation in the next tutorial we're going to edit this wall and change its thickness to meet the criteria of the foundation if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.